Hello everyone. Today we will be writing sigma notation for arithmetic series. Okay, first we have here some um, notation for sigma. We already talked about this in a previous video. Um, feel free to check that out in the um, um, previous video that I have. I will put the link of those video in the description box below. So this is this uh, this is the Greek letter uh, sigma. This is the uh, first value. This is the last value, and this is the equation. Okay, let's have the first example right here to see how how can we write the sigma notation version of this. So um, again, the purpose for writing this sigma notation is to make it, to make a shorter work in writing uh, the sum of numbers. So this one right here, we can just go ahead and represent it this way. So first thing that we are going to do is to find the equation that will work for this. So we're going to look for the t of n. So t of n, again, to find, um, there's another video for this on finding for the equation of an arithmetic series. So t of n here, there are two ways to do this. We can write the first way that is the first term, which is 9. And then plus the difference is this one is growing by 4. So 9 plus 4 parentheses n minus 1 so this is the um, this is the first way of writing the equation for this the other way to write the equation is using similar to that of y plus mx plus v b so t of n is equal to first uh, uh, um, we're gonna write how much does it grow by so that would be 4n plus what is the zeroth term that means we go backwards over there so if this is plus four so we go minus four so that should be a five and so these two are equivalent equation again there is a video on how we how we can get to this equations i will put the uh, uh link to those videos in the in the description box below so we're now ready to uh, write the sigma notation for this. So I'm going to write the letter E first. So that would be a letter E. I can use any letter on the index right here. So today let's use, um, let's say R. R is equal to 1. And then there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are seven terms. So I put that on top. And then the equation that we're going to have here is the first one let's take the first one so that would be 9 plus 4 parentheses n minus 1 and that's the first um sigma notation and then the other way to do this is using the other equation so that would be a letter e again so let's just use r by the way this is this becomes an r now so that becomes an r because we're using r it has to be consistent with that so this is equal to 1 and 7 and so the equation now is 4r plus 5. And then we need to evaluate this. Evaluate means we need to determine what is this equal to. So to do that, we're going to use the equation for sum s of n is equal to the number of terms. So that would be 7 divided by 2 times the first term. 9 plus 33 is... So that, that becomes um, 3.5. 9 plus 33 is 42. And so if we multiply these two together, that would come out 147. So this one right here is 147. So this is 147. So these are the sigma notation for this... Um, for this problem. So these are the two sigma notation that we can write. Okay, let's have the second example here. So we have this uh, value. Again, we are going to find the t of n. So the t of n is equal to the first term is 7. And then how much does it grow by? This one is growing by negative 5. So I go minus 5 times n minus 1. So that's the first equation. The second equation would be t of n is equal to how much does it grow by? It's negative 5n and then the zeroth term. So if, if we go minus 5 here, so we go plus 5 on the other way. So that would be plus 12. So these are the 
two equations over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in a box. And so we're now ready to evaluate this. So I write the letter E. And so let's use C for now. So C is equal to one. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight terms. So eight, and so I can write the first equation. Seven minus five, parentheses, and let's use, uh, again, we're using C now. So C minus one, then bracket. This can also be expressed as um, summation of C equals one, eight, and then we use the second equation, negative five N plus 12. And then um, this means that these are the um, sigma notation for this um, series. And so we find the sum for this. So S of N again is equal to eight divided by two times the first term is seven plus negative 28 so this is four times negative 21 and this is negative 80 so that's a negative this is negative 84 okay so this is equal to negative 84 that's it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!